Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I am heading out today to Marshalls. I haven't been to Marshalls in I think like two years. Whenever I go, I usually go to TJ Maxx and I've been watching all of these videos and they seem to be having some really good stuff lately. I don't know if I'll be picking anything up personally, but I do want to show you guys what they have and I figured I would take you shopping with me because I need to get out of my fear of vlogging in public, which is sometimes embarrassing because people do look at you like you are absolutely nuts, but I don't know these people, so why should I care? I don't. So I'm going to go to Marshall's first and if they don't have anything, then maybe I will head over to TJ Maxx and see if they have anything better. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me. Bye. Well, no makeup yet, but... Oh, look at these bags. I do not need any bags, but, you know. They got a lot of nice ones, I gotta say. And I love how they just have a black wall. So they don't have really too much of a makeup selection, but I mean, I'm going to go through this a few aisles. We'll see if they have. It's cute. I've heard of Beauty Treats, but I've never tried their brushes before, and it comes with a little diamond um, cleaning mat. How much is this going for? This is $7.99. I don't know. The brushes are really cute, but I have enough brushes right now. Well, can you ever have enough brushes? Looks like a really cute set, too. The brushes look really soft. Oh, this is from Paris Hilton. Look at that. And it's only $4.99. She even, there's even a big box here. I don't know if the box opens or not, but it says Complexion Perfection, and it is only $7.99. BB brush set. Some of these I've never seen. Again, this is really pretty. Looks like um, it says Full Coverage Face. And it's got two eyebrow, uh, eyebrow eyeshadow brushes, like one blender and then one like flat shader. And it's $9.99. I've never tried them, so I can't tell. Oh, these are pretty. From Orly. It's a little set for only $4.99, which is pretty good. Okay, this caught my eye because they have pink and purple. I've never seen anything like this. It says Roller Body Massager. Like these little metal roller balls on it. They have it in purple too. It's $4.99. And oh, you strap it on your hand. So this is great. Like if you have something to give you a massage, that would be really awesome. There is a whole bunch of BB makeup here. Did anybody know that BB came out with makeup? They have lip set. Do these look not familiar? Like uh, glitter and glow eyeshadows. And it's called the Halo Liquid Eyeshadow Set. And it's only $4.99 and you're getting three shadows. I could buy it just to try them out and see how they compare. And they have a cream lipstick collection. It's only $6.99. Glitter eyeliners. $5.99. And this looks really interesting. This is like a highlighting and bronzer palette. It kind of is giving me like by Terry vibes or something because it's got like that gradient palette. It's got the bronzer, the blush in the middle, and the highlighter. The highlighter looks like it would be too dark for me. But it's only $4.99. I'm wondering if I should like pick some of these up or not. I'm super happy about this. They have the wet brush. This is the original and it is the I just saw these in, on Ulta for $11.99 on sale, and they only have it for $5.99 here, so I'm picking this up because my other one, uh, the bristles were starting to break off because it was old, so I'm super happy about that. I've never heard of these brands before, but this looks just like the Butter London Pigment Collection. They have a lot in here. Only $7.99. It's metallic eyeshadows. Always got to wonder how these dupes are. It looks like they have some pretty colors. They really don't have much in here. They have this oh, Bella Pierre. We get these in our boxes and they say they're like, you know, $50. I wonder what they would charge for these. These are the liquid um, eyeshadows. They're full size. And this is only, it's $6.99. We'll get this in our box each time next month and they'll say it's worth 50 bucks, right? Oh, look at this. I've never seen this before. Editions Formula. I've never seen this kit. It's $7.99 and you're getting a mineral wear powder, a super BB cream, and what else? Like two mineral wear powders. That's interesting. I have never seen that. Oh, there's a lonely little bronze and glow bronze booster hanging out down here for 
again really cheap because these are normally like 14 or 15 dollars in the store. This is like the only interesting thing I found is that they have the Glam Glow uh, Gravity Mud and it's for $36.99. So guys this is super disappointing but they have the Illuminating Eye Cream from e.l.f. and that is also $3.99. You know I had to stop here because of course these caught my eye. The line isn't too long and these are only $5.99 but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to try another store. Hey guys, well that was a total disappointment. They had like absolutely nothing. I caught like a few things, things that I'd never seen, a couple of brands that I'd never heard of as you will see, but I am going to now look for a TJ Maxx or another Marshalls and see what we can find there. Talk to you soon. We are in TJ Maxx now and I just stopped at the clearance section. Again, it's looking like they do not have a lot of stuff at all. We're only a little Profusion Sculpt and Glow palette sitting here. It's not opened or anything. I mean, it's a little scratched, but that is okay. And it's only $5.50, which I think is a pretty good deal. I'm going to debate picking this one up for sure. This is a watermelon hydrating mask from Coop and Daisy, and it's $5.50. But it's glittery. Why does a hydrating mask need to be glittery? Can't read the ingredients, so I'm going to leave it, but that's interesting. Here's an ABH blush palette. A blush trio is on clearance for $9. Again, the box is beat up, but let me open it up and see if it has been swatched or not. Oh my goodness, I don't believe that this has not been swatched. Just the box is kind of crushed. But who cares about that? The colors look beautiful. This puppy's coming home with me. Well, looky, looky, what's all the way back here? Really not. This used to be $24.99 and it's $20. It is the chocolate bonbon palette. If it was discounted much more than $20, I would probably pick it up, but not for that. I will not. There's a couple of them hanging back there. They have an Urban Decay eyeshadow potion. This one is in the color caffeine. I've used it before. The color is great, but it just doesn't look good on me because it dries out my eyes. And what do we have here? This is a Bare Minerals lipstick for $4. This is the packaging. I'm pretty sure it's been swatched, but let's find out. Can't tell if it's been swatched. It's a pretty color, but I don't like to take chances when things have been swatched. I have this from Derma Dermaputics. I haven't heard of it, but it's a Hyaluronic Lift Hydrating Facial Mist does have the hyaluronic acid as the third ingredient. This has a camellia leaf extract. Let me see if it's been used because if not, for only six dollars it will be coming home with me. It's like a really nice bottle. Hmm. How contaminated could it be? I'm going to pick that up. There is more clearance <coughs> stuff down here and I just met a lovely woman named Damaris. She was awesome and she immediately subscribed to my channel which I thought was so sweet of her. Sometimes you meet the best people in the world. Let's see. I have hemp's on sale here for nine dollars. They usually have them for ten or so. There is a lipstick queen here. A lip liner for $3.99 but this is not in clearance and it's in the color mauve. This is what it looks like. I'll tell you if you guys need dry shampoo you know where to come. Either me because I don't use it or you know. What is this? So this is an argan oil and pumpkin shampoo from a cure. It's only $5.99. I've never tried that before. I have so many shampoos though, I really don't need it. Oh, they even have the diamond oil from Redken, the Glow Dry. It is only $9.99 and I know I pay like 20 bucks for it, so that is really good. Oh, they have a lipstick queen kit here. I have to check this one out. I absolutely love lipstick queen. But again, just one single of her lipstick is a 28 bucks or $24, and this on sale for $10. Let me see if it's swatched. It has a nick in it, so it looks like it has been swatched, which is such a shame because it is a gorgeous color, and I love it. So this is super exciting, and it is sealed, so that makes me really happy. This is the Risk Taker from MAC. I can't open it to look, but I'm glad about that. And is $19.99, so I think I'm going to pick that up. I just wish I knew what it was. They have these Physicians Formula Bar. Are they shadows? I don't even know, but they're on sale on clearance for only $2. To me, I don't like them. I mean, I guess they're big enough to, you know, fit your brush in. I'm just not a fan of the pattern. They do have a Smashbox single, the um, 
it looks like it has been swatched of course but it is on clearance for six dollars it is a beautiful trio uh, the photo edits too bad it's swatched they have a naked skin um, from urban decay fluid and it is on clearance for six dollars and it is in the color skywalk this is just the clearance section guys i haven't even gotten to the regular stuff abh stick foundation on clearance for nine dollars here is the color i cannot see it without my glasses hopefully you can they have a vice liquid lipstick here also on clearance for six dollars in the shade tilt which is pretty cool again beat up box but uh, liquid lipsticks I don't buy unless I am positive that they are sealed. Lorac Lip Lux here on clearance for $3. They have some Ardell the Magnetic Lashes. I don't even think those guys really work, but I find it interesting that they keep trying, right? This one is in the color Fawn. This is yet another um, EBH stick foundation. I happen to love it. I have one. I paid, of course, full price for it. Oh, and over here, which I am going to get because I know they look pretty sealed. Mascara Melt Off. It's $4. It's the little mini one. Uh, maybe I won't get it. I don't know. I've heard interesting mixed things about it. But it's $4 for the little baby trial size. Other lipstick queen. I wonder, I wonder if this one's been swatched. Let's see. I sometimes wish I could be the TJ Maxx police and just get everybody who swatches and like put them in a corner. Here's a, um, a Gen Nude Liquid Lipstick for $4 from Bare Minerals. They have several of them here. That one is in the color Hemp. Here is a Laura Geller Glow For It Kit. It is the Baked Gelato Swirl Trio. I have, I think this one, I think that's the Gilded Honey. It originally sold for $35 with a value of $55. And it is here, not on clearance, but it is $7.99. The Lorac Pro Lipstick in Southern Beige. It's very pretty, but I know that's going to be too light for me. But they have such beautiful packaging. And it's on sale for clearance for $3. Here's the Stila Stale Day Powder Finish Foundation Cream and Concealer. It is on sale for $8. And it looks like it's in a very dark color because it is in medium 9 that Becca brush that I've been seeing everybody finding, the One Perfecting brush. It's clearance, it's not even clearance, it's $12.99, but this box is completely destroyed. But the brush is not, the brush is still sealed, so I think I may pick this up because I've been seeing everybody find it, and I've been really curious, and I've heard it is good, so I don't have any brush that looks like this. This is super cool from Pro Fusion. It says mixed metals, eyes, and lips. Comes with a lip pencil. It looks like it comes with a liquid eye cream. And look at this cover, how adorable. And then you have these really pretty shadows in here. Nothing's been touched. I love this kit. It is so freaking adorable. On clearance for a $5.50. And I'm thinking I may pick this up. More Stila for $4.50. This is the, it's, oh, the foundation refills. This is in 501, I think. This is another lipstick queen. This is Rain and Shine Gloss. It is on clearance of 450, and it is in the color Baroness of Bear. I'm thinking that's going to be very, very dark, though. It is not as the most gorgeous new that you can possibly see, but I am so afraid that someone has swatched it that I just don't want to take a chance. They have this coconut rose water from Pearl Essence that looks pretty interesting. It is $7.99 and I don't think it has denatured alcohol in it, so yours truly may pick it up. It's nice to hang out next to these cards here. Fancho Aromatherapy. This is a cute little set with a little baby aromatherapy thing here. And this is $12.99. That's not on clearance. Somebody just must have put it there. Kevin Aquan, the Neo Highlighter, $17.99. I have to check this out. Okay, it looks like it is perfectly intact. It does not look like anyone has swatched it. It comes with this cute little velvet bag. It looks like somebody looked at it, but I see no finger swatches in here, which makes me extremely happy. Yay! They have a Cargo Wander Lust palette. This is what it looks like in the back, and it is only four bucks, which is an absolute steal in my opinion. They have some Shea Moisture Hydrating Facial Wipes hanging out here for $3.99. And I think I like these as far as I can remember. Well, they actually have a Pin Rose 
perfume collection on clearance for $16. I've seen them in Sephora, as a matter of fact. I think this was from Holiday, but that's an amazing price. I've just never smelled it, so. I was just walking by here, and they have this, I saw this Soap and Glory little set um, for $5.99 with all of the body washes and scrubs. And then, hiding out underneath, I saw the Peach Blur. The translucent smoothing finishing powder just hanging out underneath there for $12.99. Um, has not been touched. Um, I don't know if that's going to be too dark for me, but um, yours truly is going to maybe pick it up because it looks adorable. It smells good too. They have one of my favorites, the pineapple enzyme um, 3-in-1 from Botanica, Alba Botanica. And these looked really cute. They had Neutrogena wipes, but they're all like opened already, so I'm not gonna get those. They also have yes to carrots, and this is the Argan Oil 2-in-1. Looking for a price on these. Oh, here we go. Those are $2.99, I may try those. These are lipstick wipes for like taking off, like, I guess waterproof lipstick, and it's on claims for a dollar. Uh, I have to pick it up. Everyone is jumping on this watermelon craze. This is from Poco and Daisy. It's a watermelon serum, but I cannot read the ingredients. I need to really bring my glasses when I come here so that I know what I am looking at because I'm not going to pick something up if I don't think the ingredients are worth it. But they have a ton of serums and all kinds of stuff. I don't know if there's anything major brand-wise, but uh, they do have some Burt's Bees here for $7.99, which is, an, I guess, a decent price. They have hemp seed oil. Now this is interesting. Soothing hemp seed from Prolescence. Prolescence I do know, and it's $6.99. I might be curious to try this. I'm Again, it's a new craze that's going on, and I don't know about it, but um, I, may, I may try this out just for curiosity's sake. We do have um, an I Do Care Take It Easy Calming Calamine Clay Mask. Calamine is excellent for calming your skin if you have any irritation. It's only $5.99 here, and I've seen this for about, I think, $18 in Ulta. They do have an Estee Lauder kit here, highly locked up, of course, and they have for $80. And, you know, as I said, I'm not really thrilled with the ingredients in some of the higher-end skincare brands. I can't see the ingredients, but again, I'm not so sure about it, especially for $80. bucks. do have a bunch of Glam Glow sitting here, and this is the Power Mud. Um, this is $34.99, which of course you know there's $65, so that is definitely a good price for it. If you have the time, definitely go through the skincare section because you can find some gems if you're looking for them. I have so much skincare, I don't know what to do with it, but if I was in need, I would definitely be taking much more time and looking at everything because you can get some good finds here. I'm pretty sure Coop and Daisy is a decent brand. They do have a watermelon facial mist here. This is rose water and um, watermelon seed and hyaluronic acid. And it is only $6.99. I think this is a good brand, so I'll probably be picking this up. They have a bunch of these Urban Decay After Glow blushes. And this one is in fetish. Looks like they are all the same color. They have the brow box as well. That one is in blonde. We do have the uh, Becca Multitasking Perfecting Powder in deep bronze, and this is in seven for seven ninety nine. The Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, seriously, for eight ninety nine. I'm gonna have to take a look at this one. Back here, they actually have Trampula. It is the Too Faced from their um, birthday collection. It's only $6.99. It's that purpley color. Not my color, but if you're into that, that's cool. They have a ton of these brow boxes. I never tried them. If you guys tried these, let me know for sure. I'd be really curious. They have one of the Vice Special Effects Top Coats. I found these to be a little bit gritty, personally, when I tried them. I still wear it, but I just thought it was a little bit drying. But look at this. Look at all the Too Faced White Peach palettes. I do not have this one. They don't have the colors on the back, and it's sealed, so of course I'm not going to open it. I have to think about this. I have the other ones. Do I really want this one? I am going to definitely have to think about that for sure. They have the Too Faced Melted Latex and Hopeless Romantic. They have a Bobbi Brown Lip Gloss in. is for $7.99. It's in hot pink. That probably won't work for me. A bunch of the Anastasia Liquid Lip Glosses. Oh. That is such a beautiful color. 
but I can't take the chance if it's been swatched. Oh, I thought we might start finding these here. This is from Julep. I'm what I understand. I think they might be going out of business. This is one of their It's Bomb Full Coverage Lip Crayons in the color Cardinal Red. They have some Steel of Steel Day Liquid Lipsticks, and they look like these are in gorgeous colors. Sheer Marcello and Paradise, I think. Those look so pretty. They also have the Pixie and Dulce Candy. Café con Dulce. And it's the multi-use palette. I guess it's meant to be like um, an eye and cheek palette. And it's only $9.99, $9 which is not bad at all. Hoping I would find this here. This is from Laura Gillow. This is the Southampton Classic. And it's only $7.99. And this is what it is, an eye and face palette. And it's just so pretty. I've been wanting this for a while, so I think I'm going to pick this up as long as it's not swatched. I also have the Vice um, Lipstick Kit for $4.49, which I was never a fan of. I've never really been a fan of those, but if you're interested, they do have that here. I've been seeing that a lot. They have the Pacifica Sol Solar Complete Mineral Palette, which I've never tried any of their shadows. Oh, but they do have a black makeup eraser for only $7.99. Uh, that's pretty cool. Liquid Moon Dust Shadows from Urban Decay, $7.99. And also the Laura Gala Iconic London Downtown Pool Collection which is, I've just seen this online recently, as a matter of fact, and it's only $9.99. I found one of the Lime Prime liquid lipsticks in a really cool color. They like the tappers for $5.99. I don't know if it's swatched, so I will not be trying it. I've been hearing people finding this. This is the Urban Decay Naked Basics. I definitely don't need it. I have a lot of basics. It's kind of beat up, and it's actually $24.99, so. Oh, they actually have some Maybelline Long Lasting Eyeshadow um, Primer. The Master Base, it's only $2.99. It looks really interesting. I may, yeah, I may pick that one up. New, I would definitely still find one of the Kat Von D Shade and Light palettes here for $19.99. If I didn't have so many of these palettes, I would probably pick it up, to be honest with you. Ooh, and they do have the Shanna XO, the Remix palette from BH Cosmetics. It's a little beat up, and of course it's been swatched, but... It looks really, really pretty. Why people have to swatch things like this, I will have no idea. I also have the Montauk Escape palette as well. I have to decide which one I want because I don't know if I'm going to get both of them or not. But again, this one is only $7.99. Okay, they actually have the Smashbox Ablaze palette, which I am so excited to see. It is $19.99. I'm hoping that it's not swatched, but we're going to find out. So I tried to set up in a little corner here so I can like go through these and maybe open them up and see if anything is touched or not. Ooh, this looks so pretty. Ah, oh, and it's been swatched. Oh, that is so, that is so, so disappointing. Why do people have to do that? I really wanted this palette. Let's take a look at this, the Laura Geller palette. There is a finger in there. So I will not, I will not be getting that. There's a fingerprint right there. This one looks pretty, but I'm pretty sure that I have, you know, all the colors in here, but we'll see. What is really pretty has not been touched. So I think I may get it. Let's see if any of these lipsticks are swatched. This is the Lipstick Queen. I love this pretty, pretty purple packaging. Oh, it hasn't. It hasn't been swatched, but that's just a two baby pink for me. Let's check out this Bare Minerals. Well, that's a that's a bright color, isn't it now? This may also be too bright for me. Hasn't been touched. Pretty, but no. It's Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Eyeshadow. It looks very interesting for $8.99. The packaging. Don't mind me just talking to my camera. <laughs> I don't think it's been opened because it was hard. And yay, it has no one swatched it. Yay. I think I'll take this home. This one I'm curious to see if anybody's swatched it or not. No fingerprints. No one has touched it. What a miracle upon miracles. So for $9.99, yes, I've been wanting this because I just saw it online at Sephora. It's a really pretty color, but it's really neutral. And all I have a ton of them. This was the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow, so probably not.
Hey guys, so that last TJ Maxx store that I went to was actually a veritable jackpot galore. I cannot wait to go home and let you guys see everything that I got. So I will see you really soon. Hi everyone. So you are probably confused right now because yes, I'm wearing yet a different, another different outfit. It was hot, cold, all over the place. I spilt my coffee on my sweatshirt. You know how those things go. So I'm thinking, I'm all confused because I'm thinking that this is going to be the outro to the shopping TJ Maxx video that you saw because I found so much stuff I think that's going to be too long of a video to include what I actually bought in the same one. So I guess once I get into editing and I figure it out, you will see. So if this is the outro to the shopping part of the TJ Maxx haul, I just want to say thank you so much for joining me and I hope that whatever part of the world you're in on around that you have an amazing day, an amazing week. Stay tuned for the follow-up video, which is going to be the actual TJ Maxx haul. I did get quite a few things. Yeah, you'll, you'll see what I got, but um, I'll see you soon, guys. Much love.